Hello everybody, welcome back to the second video. In the first video, we took a look at how to create a passcode lock screen by writing our contact info on a whiteboard, take a picture of it, and set that picture as our passcode lock screen. Now, what we're going to do this time is we're going to use PowerPoint to create our passcode lock screens. Why would we want to do that when we could just write down an info? Well, I don't know about you, but I got some really bad handwriting. Um, I had to slow down really hard to do that demo, just saying. And other people, they want to maybe spruce it up a little bit, put their logo, make it a little nice, and that's perfectly okay too. Whatever floats your boat. In this video, we're going to use PowerPoint to create that passcode lock screen. And all you got to do is open up PowerPoint, put your name, contact info on a slide. That's it. You could be as simple or as elaborate as you want. In this particular slide, I've not only added my phone number, but I also added my email address and my office address. Because more ways people can get in contact with me, the more likely I would have my device returned if someone found it and they were a good Samaritan. So how do you save these pictures? Well, I'm glad you asked that. You go to File in the upper left-hand corner, click Save and Send, change file type, and you got these two options. It doesn't matter which one you choose, just pick one. Then click Save As. Give this thing a name. Then click Save. For simplicity's sake, select every slide. And Microsoft will warn you that every slide has now been turned into a picture and can be found in the place that you put it. I'm a desktop person, so I know I saved this to the desktop. Passcode is a file name. And inside there, I got my two pictures. Now what we're going to do next, we're going to email these pictures to ourselves. Lucky for you out there, I have an email ready to go. Take that picture, put it inside the email any way that you want, and type in your own email address. Give it a nice subject and send that one out. Give me a moment while I go to my iPad to bring up this picture and I'll show you how to save that picture from the mail app and then we'll use that picture as our passcode lock screen. All right, I got my iPad. I'm going to go to my email and I see that my email is loading up and there's my picture. Quick and easy way to save a picture from your email, Safari or any other place that you see a picture, tap and hold on it. When you tap and hold on it, you'll see this option, save to camera roll, tap that, hop out of here, and after that, go into settings, tap brightness and wallpaper, and under wallpaper, you see a couple of different screens, one with a clock and one with icons. Doesn't matter which one you type at the, you tap at this point. You just want to tap one, tap your camera roll, select your photo, and then set lock screen. Now, you might want to change this up. Right now, I have my iPad in landscape mode. I like it that way. But if I flip it so it's up and down in portrait mode, my picture gets a little out of whack. So what you're going to do, you're going to pinch, you're going to push your picture around, place it wherever you like, and then you hit set lock screen at the very top. I'm going to turn off the iPad, turn it back on, change my view, and you can see that no matter how I change it, the picture stays and all my contact info is visible.